So a big problem that everyone's going to run into when they start playing guitar is what to do with your strumming hand. How do you play in time? When do you strum up or down? And how do you get natural sounding rhythms so you just seem like someone who can play guitar effortlessly and strum along to the beat? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video is how you can strum along to any song and have it sound great. Learning to strum is such an important part of guitar and it's one of the best things you can do to see really quick improvements on guitar because even if you only know two or three chords, but you can play and strum nicely and in time, then you begin very quickly to sound like a really good guitarist. So it's probably the biggest thing you can do to see quick improvements to your playing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how strumming patterns work so that you can create your own and learn any that you'll come across. And strumming really is more of a doing kind of thing than a thinking about it kind of thing. So the biggest thing you can do is just strum along and then that'll make the most natural. So in this video, I'm gonna go through four strumming patterns and once you've been through these four patterns and I've shown them to you, then you'll know how to handle most of the things you come across and be able to do them well. Okay, so until you become a lot more advanced, basically every strumming pattern you learn is gonna be in 4-4 four, four timing. This just means that we're gonna count out four beats as we play. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that basically just repeats throughout the entire song. So to start off with our first strumming pattern here, we're gonna grab a G chord and we're just gonna play down counting one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's all there is to it. So that's basically a steady, even beat. And that's the important part here is it doesn't sound very complicated, but you wanna just try and play as evenly as possible so that you get a nice, clean and clear rhythm. So just start off and just try and play nice and smoothly and evenly on just a G chord. And that's all there is to the first one. So that one's pretty simple. So now let's try and make it a little bit more interesting by adding some ands in between the beats. And then we're also gonna play some up strums. So what that means here is now I'm gonna count instead of one, two, three, four, in between there's gonna be an and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four four and. So the important part to remember here is on the beats, one, two, three, four, you strum down, and on the ands, you strum up. So, taking our G chord from before, now I just want you to do a very simple down, up, down, up, down, up. So, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. And that's all there is to this one. And the absolutely crucial thing to do here is that no matter what we play, our hand is gonna be moving down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And this is what you wanna practice for a bit, just trying to get a nice, even, smooth rhythm. Get your hand moving in time and don't let it stop. Don't practice until your point where you can do it sort of, but to the point where it starts to feel good and it kinda of feel like your hand is dancing up and down on guitar. Just nice and simple, nice and easy work on that. You're probably gonna play a bit slower than I am, but don't worry about that. You're just trying to get a nice smooth back and forth motion. So this seems pretty simple, but this is the foundation of all strumming patterns. The main important things to remember here is your hand is always moving up and down. It never stops. No matter what you're playing, it's always doing this back and forth motion, and it's always down on the beats and up on the ands one and two and three and four and. So all strumming patterns follow that kind of foundation there and you wanna get this down so that we can make it more interesting but you still keep this basic down, up, down, up motion. And that's what's gonna guide you through and keep you grounded in all strumming patterns. Pause this video and get that a little bit more comfortable. Again, it's gonna take you a few days to get this down. You're not gonna have it immediately. That's fine, it's gonna take you some time to get comfortable with this stuff. 
Don't get discouraged if it takes you a few weeks. It's totally doable. If you do want more depth, you can go into my course. I can go through a lot of this stuff in a lot more detail. You can check that out in the link in the description below this video. Moving on to our next exercise, once you have your down, up, down, up motion, then we're gonna start missing strums. So we're gonna pick our first strumming pattern and we're gonna pick a couple beats to strum on. So let's go with one, two, and three, and four. So we're gonna strum on these beats and we're gonna miss the other ones. But no matter what, our hand is not gonna stop moving. So what that looks like is one, two, and three, and four. 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 So what you can see there is even when I'm not strumming, I'm still moving my hand in this exact same up and down motion. On that one, we're not playing the end. One, two, and, right? One, two, and. Okay, so that's really gonna be the key here is just that consistent down up motion even though you're not always playing every strum. You're playing the one, then you're missing that first and, then you're playing the two, you're playing the second and. One, two, and three, and four. So that's basically what you wanna do for this one. Basically you wanna do this until it feels pretty natural and you feel good and you're enjoying your own rhythm. And so that's really how strumming patterns are made. So once you know the foundation and how they work, you can kind of just start inventing your own strumming patterns. So basically you just pick beats to strum on and then try those out. In this exercise, we did one, two, and three, and four, but I could just as easily do one, two, and three, four. Or one and two, three, and four. Right? Each one has its own different sound and you can just kind of experiment and play around and make your own strumming patterns by playing strums or not. And you can make these really interesting too by doing things like only playing on the ands. So if I were to do one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, right? You get some really cool offbeat rhythms and you can really experiment and do a lot of cool stuff with this. Then basically all there is to it beyond there for playing actual songs is once you have your strumming pattern down, then you just play that same strumming pattern on different chords. And most songs use the same strumming pattern on a bunch of different chords, and that's really all there is to learning a song. So once you can do our basic strumming pattern on the G, maybe you try switching to an A minor. Right? And once you can do that, that's really all there is to learning strumming patterns. And so when you're gonna go and try and learn songs, in most cases, you just play the strumming pattern and then you switch on the one beat. So you'll do one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. And that's what you do for the most part. There are obviously variations that you'll discover as you explore new songs, but when in doubt, you're gonna be switching on the one beat. And then one final important tip here is you don't wanna try and switch chords until you can play the strumming pattern relatively smoothly because it's really hard to coordinate doing something with your right hand while trying to play chords in time. So start with just one chord, and you'll see this in all my song tutorials. I say, start on this chord, then play the strumming pattern until it feels natural and comfortable and you don't have to think about it too much. And then it'll make it way easier to switch between the chords if you don't have to think about your right hand and you can just play. So that's all I have to say for this video. I hope that was a good introduction. In summary, basically here are the most important things you need to remember from this video. And pretty much all strumming patterns, we're counting out a one and two and three and four and. Your hand, no matter what you're doing, is always going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the only thing you do to make different strumming patterns is you just miss certain beats. And that changes up the sound and changes up the beats. In most cases, you're gonna be switching on the one beat to your next chord. And what you wanna do when you're learning new strumming patterns is start by counting it out so that you know what you're doing, but then stop counting it once you get a little bit more comfortable with it so you can just play and get into the groove and enjoy it. 
If you want to learn this in a lot more detail with step-by-step -step guides and practice instructions, then you can check out my course. I'm going to be able to go in a lot more detail than I can in this five or 10 minute video. Uh, but that's it for me for today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification to get notified of all my newest videos right as I post them. And you can accelerate your guitar progress a lot quicker than you could on your own. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.